Yoko Escamilla said, Your 20s are your selfish years. It's a decade to immerse yourself in every single thing possible. Be selfish with your time and all the aspects of you. Travel, explore, love a little, and never touch the ground. Hello guys, my name is Ebon and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you 23 life lessons that I have learned in my just 23 years on earth. I hope you enjoy. The first lesson is not to stress about things that you cannot control. Things are stressing you out. Leave them and come back to it later. Two, you don't have to have your life all figured out understand that no one has it all figured out don't place unnecessary stress on yourself by believing that you should have everything set three do not be afraid everything you want is on the other side of fear do not be scared to start or try something new yeah that is where your greatest growth comes from in the words of sam brown he said just know that every time you try to put even your little toe outside of your comfort zone, your brain will completely freak out and try to convince you to stay in the world that you know. And that's okay. Your brain freaking out isn't a sign that something's wrong. Life-changing moments come from doing the things that you're scared to do. So don't let fear throw you off your path. So start that business, start that channel, just start. Do not be afraid of failure. Failure is life's way of saying try again. That's not the way to do it. Instead, go back to the drawing board and just re-strategize. Old Indizales said that your 20s will be full of failures. Let them happen and learn as you go. Nobody blows overnight. Life is in stages. The people that you see today that are truly successful have paid the sacrifice years back. If you jump processes, you will come back to that point so that you can take the lessons that you refused to learn at first. You cannot cheat life. Don't be in a hurry to make it. Hard work pays. Learn to be productive and not busy. Productivity is not about filling your life or day with so many activities, especially low-impact activities. Try to simplify your life by doing only the things that matter to you and drive you towards your greatest goals. Let go of friendships that do not serve you. Time is too precious to be wasted on the wrong persons. If the friendship doesn't help you grow and be a better person, it's time to say bye bye. Develop meaningful, deep, rich friendships and relationships that accelerate you towards greatness. And only in those types of relationships, my dear, should you invest in. Try to develop a relationship with God. Pray by speaking to Him from time to time. Is the only one that can always be consistent and you can always always count on him to come through for you take care of your finances start learning about money even if you're not working or in any paid employment learn about how money works since you're going to be needing a lot of it in life I know right it is okay to say no to people or to activities that do not bring you maximum benefit. If that thing is against your standards or your beliefs, just say no in a polite manner. Have standards and values. Having the values help you make decisions. Get comfortable with yourself. Be comfortable in your own skin. Be okay with being alone. You're your own best friend and ally. Be positive. Think positive things about yourself. Say positive things to yourself. 
it can change you in ways that you might not be able to explain if you don't say unkind things to people why should you even say unkind things to yourself encourage self-care reading a book resting after a long day having a short skincare routine hanging out with friends can help your sanity in this age and time that we live in take a break away from your phone for a few hours a day if you find yourself easily distracted and it's okay to take time away from social media especially if it's affecting your mental health and you find yourself comparing yourself to other people and again it frees up so much time that you never thought you had read self-development is key you do not have to read self-help books if you don't like them just try reading about something you've always wanted to know pick that online course that you've always wanted to do just do something to develop yourself don't feel pressured or measure or compare yourself to other people or to your friends you are your own person and you're your own journey and trust me everyone everybody no matter how they act or talk is still trying to figure out their own lives be happy for other people my pastor always says that when god does something good for your neighbor it means that god is in your neighborhood mm-hmm. and yes it's gonna do you good as well happiness never decreases by being shared be happy you only live this life once so and you are the only person that can truly make yourself happy do things for yourself you deserve all the happiness in the world let me know one thing that you've learned in life and how it has changed your perspective of people and life in general thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe i love you guys so much i see you in my next video